In this video, I'll introduce the new Fallout 4 mods that were added during the first week of March 2024. First, let's take a look at the overall new mods that have been added. Stalker HUD preset for Fall UI. Remastered is up first. This mod draws inspiration from the Stalker series and enhances the HUD based on Fall UI. It adds new HUD elements and transforms the UI to evoke the true Stalker feel. The recent addition of the minimap mode is also included. This interface preset provides various player information, such as icons for survival difficulty, an ammo health bar, and a condition boy interface, all in the distinctive Stalker style. To use this mod, load the preset via the MCM Settings Manager, ensure the actual Fall UI layout is selected, save, and then reload your game. Now you can experience Fallout 4 with that authentic Stalker vibe. Next up is the A Better World Cabin Workshop Pack. This mod add a complete cabin tile set and a library of cabin props for use in Fallout 4's workshop settlements. The pack includes snappable cabins, porches, cabinets with interactive doors and drawers, and more. These structures are designed to be convenient for building houses, as they combine floors, walls, and roofs into one cohesive set. The finished product evokes the rustic charm of a wooden cabin, allowing users to create structures that surpass the standard vanilla buildings. With a design that seamlessly blends with nature and avoids rusting, I believe many viewers will appreciate this style of architecture. While the house in the video showcases a basic structure, you can use this mod to create even more impressive homes. Next up is Melee Animation Tweaks. This mod alters the idle animations when in an unarmed combat stance and changes the animations when holding a melee weapon, making them appear more natural. Next up is Forced Evolution, Super Mutant Add-ons. This mod enhances super mutants by modifying their textures to high definition, making them more vivid and detailed. It's an extension of the Super Mutant Redux mod, which also improves the appearance of various armors worn by Super Mutants. Additionally, the mod introduces a new type of red-colored mutant that can launch rockets, adding variety to the Commonwealth's mutant population and making your Fallout 4 experience even more thrilling. If you want to make Super Mutants in the game more intriguing, I highly recommend giving it a try. You won't regret it. In this segment, I'd like to introduce notable rifle mods. There are many impressive rifle mods available, but let's start with Warfighter's Modern Warfare M4 Ultimate Redux. You'll be delighted to know that this mod allows you to wield the Ultimate M4. Let's explore the customization options. You can attach a grenade launcher to the lower rail, choose from five tactical stocks, and experiment with various barrels, from customization to firing mechanics. This mod caters to your M4 rifle cravings. It even includes realistic firing sounds, animations, and tactical reloads. If you're a fan of the M4, this mod is a must-have for your arsenal. Next up is the CZ Scorpion EVO 3A1 Micro. This mod adds the CZ Scorpion EVO 3A1 to the world of Fallout 4. Based on the CZ Scorpion EVO 3S2 Micro, this weapon can be customized with various modifications and accessories to suit your character. Once installed, you can craft the weapon at a chemistry station. It's a low-recoil, fast-firing rifle with a variety of rail attachments, skins, and stock and sight options. You can even choose the texture for your desired rifle and download it. Plus, it supports tactical reloading, so keep that in mind during installation. Next up is the Glock Kit CAA Micro Roni and Glock. This mod adds the Micro Roni Gen Rifle to the Glock Pistol. The unique feature of this firearm is that you can convert a Glock Pistol into a Micro Roni Gen, or vice versa. In the Conversion Kit category, you can modify the Glock Pistol into a Micro Roni Gen. The pistol itself also offers a variety of customization options, providing quite a few choices. If you choose to convert it to the Micro Roni Gen, you'll experience even more explosive damage. You can craft the Glock 19 Gen 4 at the chem station, and there's even a side aim framework patch available for installation. Next up is Modern Warfare 2, the ultimate AUG family redux. 
This mod adds the Steyr AUG A3, AUG A3 Para, and AUG H Bar to the game. You can craft them at the Bruin Bullpup category in the Chemistry Station. The mod includes sound, models, and first-person and third-person animations, allowing you to use the Modern Warfare 2 AUG series, Weapons and Commonwealth. If you're a fan of the AUG series and have enjoyed using weapons like the Steyr AUG A3, AUG A3 Para, and AUG H Bar, you'll definitely appreciate this mod. Personally, I love the rifle's khaki-colored design and the third-person animations. Give it a try if it piques your interest. Next up is the Riot Pistol Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. This mod, also known as the Automag the Thury, adds the Riot Pistol to the Commonwealth. It uses 9mm ammunition, which is based on munitions. This rifle provides various attachments, custom textures, and custom animations. In the leveled list, it appears after level 10 in places such as BOS, Gunners, and Raider Bosses. You can acquire three unique rifles, one at South Boston PD, another at Kendall Hospital, and the third at Commonwealth Weaponry in Diamond City. Keep this information in mind. Next up is the Bengal Long Lasting Flare mod. This mod adds red and white flare grenades that burn for one minute. Additionally, it includes a red flare grenade that lasts for 20 seconds. You can craft these illumination grenades at a chemistry station. The red and white flare grenades burning for a minute provide helpful survival tools and enhance immersion in dark areas. They can be thrown like regular grenades or fired from a pistol, so keep that in mind when using them. In this segment, we won't be discussing weapons like rifles, but I'll still introduce a few noteworthy mods. First up is the Domakun Backpack. This mod adds the beloved Domakun Backpack from the early 2010s internet culture. You can craft this backpack at the chemistry station and it's available in the utility category. Customize the backpack with four weight options and three colors. It's quite casual, yet charming in design, making it a delightful addition for you. Next up is the fun Red Rocket themes lighting. This mod adds various theme lighting to the Red Rocket truck stop signboards. When night falls, it emits light, creating an enjoyable atmosphere. There are a total of four themes available for installation. Although I personally chose the RGB theme, I think it would be even cooler if a feature like the Base Object Swapper could randomly cycle through these four themes in the future. Anyone who adds the Base Object Swapper functionality to this mod would truly enhance its appeal. Next, I'd like to introduce another Red Rocket gas station related mod. Not so Red Rocket retexture with some parallax action. This mod enhances the visual effects of the Red Rocket gas station by retexturing it, adding a touch of excitement. It incorporates moldies, oldies, and parallax effects, making the gas station more vibrant. The mod skillfully captures Fallout's signature rusty texture, while also conveying a mossy green feel, making it suitable even for jungle-themed settings. The ground features a cracked surface with well-applied parallax effects, enhancing your immersion. Next up is the Modern Replacer All-in-One mod. This package combines various modern replacer mods created by Omega 4D2 into a single installation. If you found it cumbersome to install them one by one, use this mod to conveniently manage them all at once. The creator plans to support the faux mod installation program in the future. So if you prefer to install only specific parts, wait for the mods upcoming updates and then proceed with the installation. Thank you for joining us on this epic journey through the Commonwealth Wasteland. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all things Fallout 4. We'll be back next week with an even more amazing showcase video. Until then, keep your Pip-Boy handy and your laser rifle loaded. Like, share, and survive.